Hey guys, I'm out here today in the woodlands of um, Furelund in Sweden and I thought I'd show you how to tap a birch tree. Um, it's a rainy day but uh, I thought it'd be nice anyways to go out and you know enjoy the, the outdoors. It's, um, it's been a very long winter so <laughs> it's nice to just go out and uh, you know feel, feel the nature again. But yeah, um, in Sweden we have a lot of birch trees so I thought I'd you know um, take the opportunity in, at hand and just go out and you know fill up some containers with birch sap and you can do a lot of things with birch birch sap it's uh, it's very nutritious um, it contains I think 17 or 18 amino acids um, and uh, antioxidants and glutamates that are neurotransmitters so um, it helps your neural pa neural pathways in the brain um, and it has also betulinic acid, which is uh, has proven uh, effect on cancer and anti-tumor and many things. It's like it's like a magic mana potion or something. It's amazing. And the birch tree actually itself is very um, um, is very useful for many things, especially in in bushcraft or survival when you're out and you need uh, you know tinder and um, e even nutritional stuff like uh, the mushroom that grows on birch trees, the chaga or sprengtikka in Swedish. So yeah, let's um, let's take a look on how to tap a tree. Right, so what I'll be using is this uh, coke bottle for the container and, and also I have a drill here a drill like that so approximately a meter of the ground is a good place to drill and you just want to go inside the the thick bark because you will start seeing the sapwood quite uh, quite soon um, and I, I will be tying a string around the, the pet bottle like this so let me show you a better place here's a better There we go, some sap is coming out now. Don't need to go in or further. And here's my tap. It's just a, a rubber tube. I insert the tube. You start to see sap coming out. This stuff is really delicious as well. I love it, seriously. It's uh, yeah, it's my favorite thing to drink when spring comes. Mm. So let's tie some string around the bottle. I'm just using a regular, you know, natural cordage. You don't need a lot. So I'm just gonna do. A regular knot here <clears throat> and tap it uh, and um, bind it around here the lip of the bottle like that align it a bit and there we go so yeah this is how I tap birch trees and uh, as you can see it's flowing quite good it's the end of the of the period now so you know I think that they have already used some of its sap but you know these things contain so much sap. Uh, I think like regular syrup producers can can produce uh, or can tap a tree up to I think uh, like 100 liters or something. Uh, so you know just taking a few liters of sap from the trees uh, it won't harm it. And actually and also it's very important in the end to close this hole here. Otherwise the tree can bleed you know for a, lo a very long time and. It can get infections and many bad things. So we'll come back in a few hours and uh, we'll see how it looks then. Right, 
night guys the next day is here and um, we've gotten a bit of sap maybe one and a half liters or something um, there are a few bugs in here so because I forgot to have some um, something to close the hole um, some net or something but uh, I'm just gonna take this uh, to my big container with sap and uh, take it home to uh, to make some syrup because uh, yeah right now there's a there's bugs and stuff in here and I want to disinfect it There we go. No sap is flowing out now. Here's a tree you do not want to tap. Because all these fungus that grow on it means that the tree is dead. And drinking the sap from a dead tree can be very harmful for you. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Here's a tree that I've uh, recently tapped. And I'm gonna seal up the wound. So you just take a bit of a piece of wood, preferably with the with its own wood, with the birch tree. Otherwise, it uh, it might be able to reject. But I think that trees are very, you know, they're very resilient. So I think any any piece of wood works. So you just carve out a bit. Make it a bit blunt. And you just want to make it smaller and, sl and slowly become wider so it fits perfectly and seals. So let's try this. There we go. That actually broke off on its own. But uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's not dripping anymore and it's perfectly sealed just carve away whatever is sticking out but this works perfectly this one is a container that I've been uh, tapping now for about two days you can see that there's quite a lot in there I'd say about seven liters, seven eight liters I think that I'm quite late in the season so that's why it's not flowing as much, but you can see it's, a, it's quite a lot of sap in here. And it's slowed down as well, so... Hmm. I think I'll be out, or I, will, I know that, uh, that I will be out um, earlier, next, next year. Because now it's the end of March and... Uh, yeah, that means that uh, the birches will, uh, will take the sap and use it for their buds and all kinds of nourishment that it needs. Look at all this fantastic sap! Mm. <laughs> Alright guys, that's how you tap a tree. You can do it with maple, you can do it with uh, birches and I'm sure a few others as well if you, if you search hard enough. Um, so yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the video and uh, I, you know, I love coming out here so I'll be trying to do more of these. Um, nature, Swedish is, Sweden is so, um, so beautiful in its nature and it has so many you know, wildlife that's really cool. I actually saw a moose earlier you know, big bull. And I think there's a family walking around here, so I think I should be a bit quiet and not disturb them so much. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned for next time, and um, I'll see you then.